Okay, hi guys. So I'm a little under the weather today. As you can hear, my voice is very like gone. I just have like half of my voice. So I have my friend here, Kavita. She's helping me out today in the kitchen. She's going to make some currants roll for you guys. And she's going to share her recipe. And she actually went to school to learn how to cook. So she's a boss compared to me. She went to the Trinidad and Tobago Hospitality and Tourism Institute. So she's going to share some of her knowledge with you guys today. So Kavita, what do you have here? here we you have, have some flour. Salt. Yeah. Some essence. Almond essence. No, vanilla. Vanilla. Essence. Okay. We have sugar. We have some ground spice. And we have some raisins. Because we got my hands on the current. So use the regular size raisins and just chop, chop them up. Them. Yeah. And to the bowl, I'm going to add some flour. So she's going to make a flaky pastry now. This is going to be the base for the, that we're going to put the currants into or the raisins in this case. Salt. Salt. Just cookie and butter. Okay. Okay, so we forgot to tell you guys that you need this whole stick, right? No, half. Half of this stick of blue band butter mm -hmm. or just half a cup of butter. Because this whole block is one cup. So you're going to use half of this, which is half a cup. And she also has some Crisco or cookie in here. And she's going to use how much? Half of this as well. So half a cup of cookie in as well. So she's just cutting the butter into like little cubes. And make sure that the butter and the cookie is very cold. In this case, the cookie is frozen. When you're making any types of pastry, your butter or cooking must be very cold. Okay. She's, so she's just crumbling the butter into the flour. Did you listen until it comes out like um, breadcrumbs? Okay. So when your flour and butter looks like breadcrumbs, that's when you'll know that yeah, your dough nice. is ready to put the water into, right? Yeah. <coughs> so this is how you want your flour and butter to get. It's very crumbly like breadcrumbs. And that's okay if you get a little few pieces in between like the frozen ones and they don't break up, that's okay because when you roll your dough out, it's gonna incorporate back into the dough. Mm -hmm. The pail now is going to flatten the butter or the cooking. Mm -hmm. So she has some ice cold water here that she's going to add to her flour and butter. And Kavita does not work with measurements like I do. She, she is like a real professional. You want to have a firm, tough dough. You don't want it to be too soft or medium. It must be really tough. So you can transfer it onto your surface and work with it because it's going to be a little harder to knead it in a bowl. It'll be much easier to work with it on a countertop. See how smooth the dough is getting? So, so now we're just gonna wrap this up 
and put it into the fridge for how long, Kavita? Half an hour. Half an hour. So to wrap it in some plastic wrap or foil or whatever you want to wrap it in. Okay, we're going to put this in the freezer for half an hour and then we'll check back with you guys in a little bit to show you what it looks like. Okay, so Kavita is gonna make the filling now for the currants roll. So she's adding some granulated sugar. And all the exact ingredients and measurements and stuff she's gonna be using, it's gonna be in the description box below. So she's adding some ground spice or cinnamon. And some clear vanilla essence, or you can use extract if you want. But if you're using vanilla extract, you'll have to use a little less because it's more concentrated. So you're just gonna mix everything together. Mmm, that smells good. So it's been about 30 minutes and we just took the dough out of the freezer and we put it in a freezer bag instead of plastic wrap because we didn't have any. So you can use any clear plastic bag you have. Okay, so she just dusted the counter with a little bit of flour and now she's going to roll it out. So in the meantime, I'm going to melt some butter to paste on the top. We're going to put butter instead of an egg wash because she's going to make this completely vegetarian. But if you don't want to make it vegetarian and you like the egg wash look and how it gets really nice and brown and shiny, then you can definitely use an egg wash. a little bit more and now we're gonna brush some melted butter on there and like I said instead of butter you can use an egg wash with eggs and a little bit of water just scramble it up and brush it in place of the butter So now she's gonna put the filling inside. Okay, so she's finished filling the currants or the raisins mixture in there. Now she's gonna roll up the currant roll. So you're just gonna roll it really tight. Make sure that none of the currants falls out. And if it does, you could just stick it back in. And fold the ends in. So she's gonna lay it on this dish, seam side down. And we have our oven preheating at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna do the other one and then we'll put these to bake. Okay, so now she's gonna mark the current roll. You're gonna mark it with the back of your knife into like the slices, how you're gonna cut it when it's finished baking. Now she's gonna brush the butter on top or you can do an egg wash as well if you want. So we're gonna put it in the oven to bake for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so the current roll just came out of the oven. We had a little fault but I was okay. It just, when she was cutting it, it just cut a little too deep 
and some of the sugar kind of ran out but that's okay it smells really amazing and it's very nice and flaky okay so Kavita said she's not going to wait until it cools down she wants to cut it now so she's gonna slice it up and show you guys <laughs> I love how flaky the taste is. Mm -hmm. so and it's not too sweet, but I just love how the filling is. Mm-hmm! Independence! Bursting with flavors! Wow! Look at fireworks! Ah. 